Hello and welcome back to what I believe is episode 20. So what can we do for this episode? First off, I've been making some more tools. This new cool skytch and axe made with iron and uh, obsidian uh, pieces. And uh, just... Oh, there it actually was. I've even made a chisel head, so let's bring that with us. So let's look in this materials on you, just to show you. There has been added a few things. A hammer, which is a mining tool. Haven't made that one yet. Will probably in the future. This lumber axe, which I've made. The shovel, we made last time. The skytch, and the cleaver and battle axe. And those are new tools. These two are primarily weapons. This can be used to harvest the trees as well. And there's also been added a few new modifiers, like... Uh, let's see if I can find one. This one, which adds reinforced, which is really cool. Knockback, which looks kind of silly to me, but it's cool effect. Beheading, pretty nice. Bane of Anthropods, Smythe, Electric, which doesn't work unless you have uh, Industrial Craft installed, and that's it. So I was actually making a cleaver. And I wanted to call it Devils, just because that's what I've called all the other things. Cleaver. And we will put some of the stuff in here. Oh yeah, I wanted to... I actually also want to make this, and I hope this will work with six. Also, which kind of wood do we have most of? Birch, right now. Good. So, um, I also want to make a tool rod pattern here. Not the tough one, the normal one. And we will just put this together. Good. Th so the chisel is used to make different kinds of bricks. I believe I can... No, I probably can't with this one, but... I think I can with stone, actually. If you take the chisel and stone... Yeah, you can make stone bricks directly. You can also use it directly in the world, I believe, last time I tested anyway. Yeah. So that's uh, pretty cool. Nice little tool to make some uh, bricks of different kinds. Another thing I want to show you is how the lumber axe works. So let's put that down here, just in case you don't know. Uh, it should work on this as it's an Atura tree. Yeah. So it basically chops down the entire tree from uh, the block you harvest and upwards. There is a maximum height. Can't remember which one. So you can't cut down an Atura redwood tree. But most uh, trees you will be able to cut down like this. don't know how it, how it does against leaves. It's not good against leaves, as you can see. But still, pretty nice. Another thing is the sights. Uh, skites. It uh, removes a uh, tree by tree. Maybe by tree, actually. Yeah. Of leaves. So, good for clearing out a ton of leaves fast.
and it also works on tall grass. Which uh, I can find nothing of, but anyways. This has been running. You can see currently it's emptying out pretty fast. I am not putting in new stuff currently. When we go down in my hole here. See, I, all I've done is add an ender chest down here. And that's because uh, the hatch here will automatically eject to anything underneath it. So that's what I'm counting on. And this ender chest is a white one, so it connects directly into my uh, ME system. Now I somehow need to uh, automatically fill it with dirt and uh, fertilizer. So I think it's time to do some thorn craft. And I have uh, prepared something um, by throwing in a couple of carrots into this and uh, hitting it with a wand. That has put everything from the carrots into the filters which this guy has taken off. And then I have uh, grabbed this uh, visum. Hopefully this is the theory I want. And I seem to be getting a bit of lag. I'm not completely sure why. That was more carrots than I will ever need. So let's cross out. Yes, goggles are revealing the exact um, research I wanted. It's nice when uh, things work out like that. Now let me just clear up some of my inventory and I can use my last torches beforehand. I've even found a butterfly. Don't know what I will use it for yet, but I will probably find something. So let's grab these. Since I have so many shards, I might as well use some of them. And I was pretty sure to get some magic in here. Another thing I'm pretty sure is in there is uh, Tutaman. Also known as armor. So we need some leather. And I think we also need some books. So let's see if I'm correct here. Yeah. Then we have that Mutatio, which normally I would uh, use another ward for, but since I have been unable to locate a nether fortress, we're using slime balls. But I have a good amount of those as well, so that's okay. Good. Goggles of Revealing. So let's take a look at what these does. Nowhere to hide. Goggles are revealing is uh, a helmet. It requires leather, gold, some stuff down here, and two thermo thermometers. And they basically t tells you how much, uh, how big your nearest node are, how much flux is in it, and uh, it even makes you able to see it. And it also gives you 5% discount on your wands when you use them to make this. So, we will make one. And I'm pretty sure I had already made a thermometer. It was right there. And I have already forgotten how to make them. Okay, that was stupidly simple. Gold. Did I put the leather back in here? That would have been a uh, stupid choice. I even put the sl No, I didn't. But I needed a uh, water shard. So I think it's over here we make it. With this this and 20 V. Then we go over here, 
put down the wand. These two thermometers, leather, and this. We have plenty of mutasio. We need the vis and uh, magic. So let's see, carriage is a good choice for the vism. And I will say uh, great wood if we have only one. How about silver woods? They have more? Yeah, so let's use uh, silver woods. And I need eight of each. So, um, four carrots and four silver woods. Then we have the goggles of revealing. So let's put them on. Looks cool. And now, if we look at the, the filters here, we can see in here there's eight purists. Here, eight, uh, I can't remember what that is, and even works on our uh, things over here as well. And in my bottom left corner, you will be able to see that we have uh, an aura which is currently at 200, 201, and rising. And it has flux of minimal. And the green arrow means uh, the aura is regening, I believe. And I'll just sleep and then we'll I'll be back. Okay, so I just got up. And I want to enchant my goggles. And then I will show you something cool. Let's hope I get something cool on these. Protection 4. Well, pretty nice, but not what I had been hoping for. I had actually been hoping for repair once again, but, well, can't get lucky every time. Do I still have this axe on me? So, I want to test if it works on the Silverwoods. It does. Cool. And this is an Aura node. As I said, there's always one inside each and every one of these uh, Silverwoods. And the star, you can see inside it, it's because uh, inside Silverwoods there are always pure nodes. So, so um, yeah. It means they slowly clear off their um, flux all by themselves. And the purple lightning you see coming out of it once in a while, that's flux. So, pretty nice. I don't know where my silverwood saplings are, actually. I'm pretty sure I had a little one, a little left. Let's get rid of some of this stuff and see. A GL. No. There they are. Good. Oh, there's more wood up there. Now I'm going to plant another one, actually this time right next to it, just for fun. Why, you might ask? Well, when two nodes get too close to each other, they merge into one, and one silverwood sapling will probably create a node about, yeah, at maximum 100 aura, usually less than that. And uh, I think I've been growing, had three trees now. So um, it's just a way to uh, increase the size of our node. Can we get that? So, next thing is I want to go and find a chicken. Because I want to show you how these uh, sapphire nets work. I will add this down here for now. And put these two in here. 
And chickens tend to uh, be in the jungles. I just killed this guy with the good old sword. Now, currently, well, I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure my old sword, thanks to all the quartz I've put in it, does more damage than uh, my new sword. But my new sword has another cool thing. It has a 30% chance, I think, or maybe it's only 20, of uh, cutting off the head of the opponent. Let's see. Yeah. No, that was reinforced. Well, so... That is one of the reasons I made it. So I can find sheep and pigs. We could use pigs as well, but I would really prefer chickens. So I'll look for chickens and be back. Okay guys, I've just spotted a couple of chickens. So you take your safari nets. I'm going to grab two. And right click on uh, the thing you want to catch. And you will get a uh, safari net chicken. Pretty nice. And uh, you can then uh, unleash them somewhere again. Which is uh, what we are going to do once I've put up a pen. So the safari nets, I have not made them myself. There is a recipe for it. I can't remember what it is. But it can be found around the world in chests. And that is how I got them. Just found some gold gravel here. Pretty rare. And not very good when it comes to it, as it only gives nuggets. So, I will uh, go back to the house, and then I'll uh, see you there. Okay guys, I'm back at the house. I unfortunately died on my way back. As you can see on my magic levels on top. I ran into a group of evil mages. And those guys are, well, evil. I think they're a bit too OP, to be honest. It seems that they... Um, they can kill you in one, maybe two shots, and they have a good range. I know if I had used spells, I might have been able to hit them before they could hit me. But still, they do a lot of damage and seem to ignore armor. So, yeah. But when I came back, I built this. Three little fences with gates. And one of them is going to be chicken, and another cows. And the last one is going to be pigs, when you get that, them. Now, I will build some machines that will automatically feed them and breed them. Um, and lots of other cool stuff. So, yeah, I'm not sure we can do that this episode, but there is something else I want to do this episode. And that is going to require some diamonds. I'm going to make a world anchor. This is the recipe, so a bit uh, expensive, as you can see. But we have plenty of stuff. It was like this, I believe. No? There we go. World Anger. Now, that will keep a area loaded, even if you are not near it. Which is pretty cool, and it's going to be near our oil well. Then, another thing I want to make is um, a tunnel ball. This is the recipe. Uh, it should be possible. 
do have two cards already. Good. Uh, we also have some uh, chests, I know. So, a chest and a card. Another card, I believe it was. This was uh, one too many. And um, a couple of steel blocks. And two furnaces. Now this is something that will uh, help us a lot. Another thing we want is a ball head. And we're just going for the diamond one, so that requires a diamond block. So uh, the difference is um, what they can mine, and the durability, and how fast they mine. I don't think we're going to need that any more steel. We will use one more of these. We will also need some uh, red dye. Do we have red dye in here? We do. Because we will do like this. And get ourselves a crowbar. Oh yeah, I have some rails down here. Uh, they're called tracks, actually. I happened to find a uh, abandoned mine shaft, mm. and uh, I will just go over here and show you how to make mm, rails using railcraft. Like this, it will make the standard rail, and then we will need some wooden slabs. And we go downstairs. I have already set up a uh, carpenter here, connected to our creosote tank, so it's filled with creosote. And this will make wooden ties. You can make it without the carpenter if you don't have forestry installed, and uh, instead you can make a bottle of creosote, or a bucket or any container, and add it here in a normal crafting grid, and you will get wooden ties. But you actually save 25% of your creosote oil using this. So that's nice to know. And that is why I do it, even though we have plenty, there's no reason not to save a little. We're also going to need a bunch of gravel, and some coal. And I don't want to do it here. I want to go down a few levels. This should be perfect. And I actually do want to go this way. So um, if I can just clear out a bit more space here. And this is where this uh, that hammer would have been brilliant. Gravel came down there. I think there should be plenty of space now. Once I've cleared out this. And then we will put down the rails here. And we take the tunnel ball and place it. H yeah, it's huge. And I can't even get around to show it properly. But you put in the uh, the warhead you've made. You can put in your fuel. You will put in your gravel. Gravel is used if it uh, passes over uh, holes. It will drop gravel into the hole. And it will place tracks. It will dig ahead and it will run. It will also uh, spit out things it dig up behind it. So. And you can place a cart with the... S yeah. I'll just... I just forgot to make that. A um, cart with a um, chest. A chest cart. That's... Did I? I have all of them on me. 
but I need more iron. So we will just make another chest card. And I will uh, put this world anchor in here. And uh, I needed the ender pearls actually. I did say I wanted the, the chest near um, our pump that's pumping oil for us, which is true, but uh, for now we will do it like this. Put this down, take your uh, crowbar and just shift right click at first one of these and then the next. And you see it says link started, link created. So now these two are linked, so that means they will follow each other. And I think the reason nothing is happening is that it's actually inside th these blocks. See how big it is? So when I said this was enough rooms, I was wrong. You can even, if I click it, can I not, yeah, and take out the head, you can see it on, the, it's missing, which I personally think is really nice. And don't stand in front of it when it's running, you will die. So, just a friendly reminder, I might actually have to remove it. Because I probably can't get to that dirt inside it. Yeah. That's annoying, but no big deal. Once again, run up, check, it's not good. This looks like uh, it will work better this time. Oh, all the gravel probably went into this one. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Let me put this down and we shove this one back on the track. Can we do that? Yes. Now those two are connected. You can see it's sticking and things are going inside the chest. Perfect. And same thing here. And we click on here, it's currently not loaded. So we put this in, you can see it changes color, that means it's activated. It will act load an area that's a tree by tree around it. So that means this will run forever, or at, at least as long as it has uh, coal uh, and ender pearls. So let's take a quick look here. Now, my idea with that train is I wanted to um, go all the way up to my oil rigs. Now, if you place four of these like this, you get wooden rail bed. So we want that. And then you put iron on these rails on both sides, and you get tracks. Plenty of tracks. You can also use there's plenty of other uses for these things. And we are getting close to the wrapping up point here. There is, however, one more thing I want to show you before we uh, do the actual wrapping up. I will put these tracks inside the train so it uh, will run a bit longer. But I want to make something called a knapsack. 
knapsacks, all just things. So gold, leather, and iron tough tool rod. So if you haven't guessed, this is from uh, Tinker's Construct. What? Don't. Oh well. Iron in the middle, tough tool rod. Uh, it has to be iron. I don't know if it has to be iron, but this is a knapsack. I, um, you click on this tab up here, which because uh, Tinker's Construct will add more cool stuff. But you can see there's a symbol for the knapsack, and you put it up there, and you get another tab. The idea is you will get bells and masks and stuff that will add different things. He will add armors as well, rings and amulets it looks, and this one, actually, miniature red heart. You, um, there's a chance to get them when beating up mobs, and that's how I got this one. But otherwise you will have to find them in chests, and even there they are hard to get. But you use them with a hard canister, which is uh, crafted with aluminium, a jeweled apple, which is four diamonds and an apple, and a necrotic bone, which is struck by... Um, those skeletons from the nether. Can't remember the wither skeletons. And then you get this hot canister. And uh, you add it here, and I believe it stacks ten times. And each time you get a second health heart. Pretty nice. And this knapsack can hold your stuff. So let's just try putting some stuff inside it. And uh, it's still there. And I believe he wrote something, I just have to check. It might work similar, so the shift click function. So let's see if that worked. No, okay. So you can store stuff in it, and uh, I intend to store tools and stuff, so I don't have to run around with them filling up my inventory I just I can have lots of tools with me like my wrench and my um, scoops for bees and my crowbar and stuff like that and not worry about it cluttering my inventory so um, that's pretty cool so we did a lot this episode mm, I think we made this one enchanted it we made I showed you how to make the basic tracks with the railcraft. I uh, showed you how to capture chickens and cows easy. You need to find those in the, or you don't need to. They, there is actually a recipe for that, those safari nets. Um, but I found mine in uh, in uh, chests, and this is the recipe for them. And um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave a like, and maybe even a subscribe. And uh, until next time, take care of yourself.